right. What like that intro? That intro never gets old. Right? It, it just it's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, we we got to somehow make that longer or uh, do a new intro every week because that, that was a blast. Do a lot of extra. Happy Good right. Friday. Yeah, thanks you too, Paul. Absolutely, I got my blank stack of papers here. Yeah, and, uh, no, no, welcome no. to nothing written on it, but WESPN episode two uh, again weekly uh, real estate market update with some uh, some tips out there and tricks and all that. Hot off the heels of episode one. Um, you know, it just it took me a couple of days to go through all the all the DMs there and uh, and all that. And the uh, I think our YouTube's up to uh, uh, 1.5 million views now. Wow, so, already! Yeah, yeah it's, it's like, crazy. It's just like, joking. Like, you know, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. But um, you know what? Um, no sponsor this week. Yeah, not not uh, too happy about that. But uh, it, is, it is what it is. I carved those a couple hours. Uh, uh, after we dropped the uh, first video, just to field uh, sponsorship calls, and uh, you know, <laughs> all jokes aside, some did come in, but they, uh, but they, they didn't have coffee cups. So, guys, coffee cup sponsor. We'll talk about you a little bit. We'll talk about us and our relationship with you a little bit. We want to uh, to talk about you guys. Yeah, so, we, we want to talk about our partners. And yeah. So today's sponsor is sponsored by the letter P. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. So a couple, a uh, couple of wins out there this week uh, that we wrapped up uh, and got to serve a couple of buyers and firm them up. Uh, you know, one in Chatham actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You took new your talents out, out to yeah. Chatham this week on indeed, indeed. on some new construction, which we're going to talk about new construction uh, today. That's going to be our topic of uh, of choice is uh, new construction in our real estate market. And then we firmed one up on uh, Westcott, which is you know Central Windsor. Um, on the listing end, we firmed one up on Willow Drive, uh, one on St. Anne, one on Apple Tree, and we listed three properties this week as well, Kingston, Olive, and Hall Olive. Heavy, heavy action there. It's purpose-built sixplex. Um, if you guys have seen that floating around and you want to see it, let us know. Kingston, of course, uh, this hit market yesterday, the... the um, the feedback on that property has been absolutely amazing. It's a be very beautiful buy level. And then Hall, of course, we're going offers today. We've got listings coming up in Riverside, Central Windsor. We have a huge um, townhome ranch in South Windsor coming up. We've got a duplex on a 400 foot lot coming up today, actually. We've got a townhome in Meadowbrook coming up. And we've got a beautiful bungalow on Valer coming up. So we're going to be very busy here busy, for the next little, weeks, next little yeah. while and whatever else comes uh, comes our way. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and, and with buyers still finding ways to get it done. One was a first time home buyer. Um, one was awesome. somebody relocating to the Windsor area from the GTA, priced out of their market and uh, you know, f looking for something cheaper. So we Good. Uh, found something in Chatham. But uh, let's get to our main topic here, which I'm super excited about. Good. Um, it's kind of something that's uh, you know been a newer revelation to me because we didn't really see this in Windsor for a long time, right? Yeah. Which is new construction, new construction condos, uh, new construction townhouses, uh, and new construction luxury two stories and ranches and, and things like that. So, yeah. Paul, do you want to touch on um, like you know like six seven years ago we didn't see this? Maybe what's changed in the in the past yeah. few years? And I mean, I guess six seven years ago we didn't even really have a condo market to really sure. speak of. Mm -hmm. Um, now we have a new construction condo market and a condo market, and uh, and it's pretty fun to pretty fun to work in. To be honest, um, we have the inside line on a, on a couple of them. We're representing a project coming up um, called Stella Lux, which is on Lozon and Stella. And even even then, when we when we kind of soft release that, um, you know, we the the interest there is overwhelming. There's already a wait list for the first mm -hmm. building. Um, we're just getting our signage and all our marketing together right now for that. But um, the new construction condo business is absolutely thriving right yeah. now. New construction residential, um, the, the numbers are the numbers are the numbers are up mm -hmm. there for sure. Yeah, I think a lot of people are, are wondering, you know, what's the draw of a condo right now? And uh, basically, it's the price. It's it's going to be the most affordable single-family homes that you can buy is going to be a condo or a townhouse. You simply can't build. Uh, single family homes in that price range. Like you can't build a subdivision of raised ranches for $400,000 yeah. anymore. It's just impossible. So uh, most of the new construction that we are seeing is condos, townhouses, or luxury uh, two stories. But that yeah. in-between property is kind of disappearing. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. I haven't seen uh, too many raised ranches being built in new construction. Um, the two stories, 20, I mean, the, the, the market's moving so quick on this new, on new construction as well 
the builders are almost kind of looking at themselves saying, you know, why are we, why are we firming these up before um, we build them? We might just build them and then sell them on market because mm -hmm. maybe we're leaving money on the table. That's how That's hot true. it is right mm -hmm. now. So a builder would typically like to have that in contract and in place and know who they're building for. You might, you, might yeah. see that, you might see that change a little bit. And part of that as well is the rising building costs. These builders literally don't know what their costs are going to be next week. Um, I talked to three or four builders last week, um, some doing um, single family homes, some doing condos. And it's, it's real. The, yeah. the construction costs rise is real. Two by, um, lumber, electrical wiring, yeah. uh, labor, everything's really, really increasing in value. So they, if they lock themselves into a contract now and then their prices double or triple, then, then they're on the hook for it, right? So. Yeah, you might even see it like a uh, like market rate in, in, in your offers. You might even see uh, contractors and builders starting to say, almost treating it like, uh, like, like seafood, right? Whatever the market rate is at, at this time Sorry, yeah. is what the price is gonna be, right? That might be how they deal with uh, lumber and electrical and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. th th they have to protect their costs. Uh, something that was priced out um, six months ago, eight months ago for a massive project. Um, has changed today. So um, unfortunately, the, the developers or contractors, they're not going to take that cost on, on themselves, uh, nor should they. I mean, they're, 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 it's a business. They're here to make mm -hmm. money. Unfortunately, that's going to fall on the end user, but we're all in, this, we're all in the same mm -hmm. uh, pot there when we're, when we're going to buy these places. Yeah, and, and another, another, I want to talk about the reasons why you're, we're seeing this development is that all cities in the Ontario official plan is for densification, right? Um, more dense cores, more people living in, in small areas as we are running out of land. Yeah. Um, you can only build so many single family homes, right? But you can build 50 condo units on one parcel of land. So you're really getting that intensification as part of the official plan and that's why we're seeing a, a push more towards that. Um, and, and another thing I wanted to talk about as well is the uh, investor angle for new construction. Um, I know for myself, I used to think new construction was a bad investment because yep. you can get higher cash flow or whatever from a duplex or a single family or something that's already built. Um, but there are a lot of uh, really interesting points about buying something new construction. Um, number one for me is just kind of leveraging your money. You can lock something up that's not going to be built for a year at today's prices yep. with typically, you know, five or 10% down um, as a deposit. So you're locking in today's prices. You don't really have to pay the rest in, for a year. And in a rising market, that, like, that can be really it's advantageous. It's huge. You gotta look at what it costs to get you into, into the project, right? Mm -hmm. Like down here, um, it's, it's, let's call it 30 to 50 grand to get into a full-scale condo development project uh, to lock you in at agreement purchase and sale. Um, you know, 30 to 50 grand, lock that up for a year and a half, two years. That's, that's not much, right? It's, especially if you're, if you're an investor, those, mm. th that's why investors love the condos down yeah. here as well, because the deposit structures are, are fair. Mm -hmm. And you're not, you don't have to deal with any banks, yeah. right? For that deposit, you don't need a mortgage. You don't need financing until that project closes. So yeah. you're really, um, controlling an asset with limited capital is, is just as an investor, that's, that's very beneficial. Yeah. Um, and then you got to think about return on investment too. If your condo is worth fifty thousand dollars more by the time it's built, and you only put down thirty thousand dollars, well, you've just made yeah. uh, one hundred and fifty percent return on your money. You're at the mercy no. of, uh, as we all are, we're all at the mercy of the market. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's it's a bet that um, is producing time and time again right now. I don't see the market slowing down. Uh, every week is uh, you know you see every every week's a record, right? So. Call it every two, three weeks in every area. There's there's a new record. So yeah, yeah. people are getting priced out of um, the resale market, right? So they're they're looking at different options, and the new construction option to them really speaks to them because uh, there's a little bit of buyer exhaustion out there mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, you don't have to compete. You don't have to compete. Well. New construction allows you the opportunity to just go in, lock it up, make your selections, and and off you go. We're finding problem with residential new construction is that there's there's just not much stuff going on out there because there's a, there's a lack of land out there. There's there's a uh, project going on in South Windsor, um, luxury two stories, and there's a wait list of 300 people. Yeah, and I think that's residential? Residential. Um, I think there's 60 or 80 um, lots being developed and, okay. and a wait list of 300. So even the new construction is super competitive, even the luxury space is seeing multiple offers. Yeah. Uh, it really is a, a hyper competitive market. And on the new construction uh, front and, and on the investment front, um, you're, you're making 
uh, a solid bet because people are comparison shoppers, right? Like I know when I moved to Ottawa, uh, you know, three or four years ago, housing prices were way more expensive than Windsor. So all I did was I shopped around. I said, well, a single family home is 650,000. That's out of my price range. What are my options? And then I right. realized that the only option I had was a, was a condo and I bought a, a new construction condo. So people will adjust to the market and these, op these options will start to look um, a, like the only option for a lot of people and really good options. Yeah. Um, you know, you're getting a new product and, and all those things. So, and it, and it eliminates the, the frustration of the market that's going on right there. We're with buyers all the time and, and they are writing really, really good offers and, and not really sure if they're, uh, if they're, if they're winners or not. Right. So, um, and everybody knows the game out there listing low and, and, and selling much, much above that. Mm -hmm. We get comments on that all the time on our, on our list price to, to sell price. Um, we don't have much of a choice to, and I'm going to be honest here. We don't have much of a choice, but to list it lower because that's, what's working. Mm -hmm. That's what the buyers are responding to for our sellers. So everybody wants to blame the agents for it. Yeah, right. Yeah. But the buyers are the ones that are responding and, 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 yeah. and, and give an example, making right? that you, strategy work. You, you literally had this happen. You listed something, uh, you know, a higher amount. Yeah. And you didn't get the response that you expected. You relisted again with a lower price and all of a sudden it gets higher than, yeah. you know, whatever, so, right? Like we see it all the yeah. time. Until the buyer stops responding yeah. to that strategy, yeah. um, then so will, so will the market, yeah. right? So we're, at, we're, again, as a realtor, we're always at the mercy and of the market. You have to do what's best market. for your seller. Right? I have you to. You have to I, or you yeah. wouldn't be doing Absol your job. Of course, absolutely. Yeah. So, and if that happens to be pricing it aggressively, then, yeah. then you have to do that for your seller. But I do understand why people are frustrated. Absolutely. I would be too. Absolutely. Just understand like it's not some sort of game we're trying to play. It's just we have to do what we have to do. You have to do um, how the, what the market's what the market's responding to. Um, again, you can avoid that with new construction, though. <laughs> it's just finding that that new construction project. Um, we know about all of them, um, and uh, and we you know we're we're pretty pretty tuned in on that. But uh, yeah, not, know, everything's not everything's advertised. Yeah, and not and not everything's advertised. Stella Lux, we haven't even started advertising there, and uh, you know it's it's the the response there has been um over overwhelming we're just going to start rolling that out next week but uh and again i think that'll be um the first building there i think that will be the last uh pretty much the last two two bedroom units that you'll see under under 400. yeah this these these projects well basically every project that's going on right now might be the lowest price new construction you might ever see again in, I agree. in southwestern ontario yeah. with land costs and building costs rising yeah i don't know if if we'll see prices at like, like this again. If you can lock up a condo right now between, uh, you know, let's call it 379 and 450, uh, that still makes money and we know it'll make money off, off what, you're, what you're renting. If you can get that into an APS, um, agreement, of purchase, agreement of purchase and sale, um, I suggest you do that yeah. because I think that's a great point. I think it is gonna be the last uh, in, in Ontario that you'll yeah. ever see at, uh, at that price. Yeah. Lock it up um, for whatever percentage down, five, 10% down you know, pay the rest at close and, and watch the market in the meantime. Obviously, you know, we can't predict the market, but on the current trajectory, I think it's a safe, solid bet. We're playing a game of poker here, right? No. The market's showing pocket aces. You, you, you put your money in. That's the way I market it. Market keeps so, performing. It is yeah. absolutely... Uh, it's a housing crisis. It's a housing crisis <clears throat> I can't, in Ontario. Yeah. Even how much it's jumped since... Uh, uh, I'm going to call it January 1st. Um, it's, it's jumped... Quite, quite, like, like in the past four years, I've seen uh, phenomenal gains. I don't know. I think 2021 is going to produce this, the most gain off the biggest number. Yeah. So the last two, two years were pretty competitive. Like yeah. We were struggling out there with buyers. This year makes those years look like child's play. Like yeah. I, what I'm dealing with now makes the past couple of years like, wow, I, I actually thought that was hard. Yeah. Um, that's, how, that's how challenging it's become. Uh, yeah, the buyer pool when they, they they can't find anything though that but this buyer pool just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and now it's introducing a new set of buyers that we talked about last week, which is the which is the uh, up the four hundred one buyer, um, and and that buyer pool just keeps growing, growing, yeah, and growing. Yeah, so I don't down. see prices uh, slowing down at all, um, but at the same time, stuff does slip through the cracks here and there. Just got to keep shooting. You have sure. to be in the game. Yep, yeah. for sure. Yep. Yep. Great topic this week. If you guys have any questions about that, um, feel free to let us know. Happy Good Friday. I hope everybody has a great Easter. Happy Easter to yeah. you and your family, Scott. Uh, thanks, you too. Paul. Absolutely. And, and everybody else as well.
Thank you. Okay. Get the sponsorships going. Yeah, sponsorships. Come Please. on, guys. Come on. I'm dying over here. My ego's killed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.